I was supposed not to give this talk, but Dr. Serhat Ünal had uh, a serious uh, infection developing in the last two days. He sent, he's sending his apologies and he asked me to replace him for the talk. So basically most of the slides, not all, but uh, at least some of the slides are his slides. And this is the situation in Turkey. HIV prevalence is among the lowest on a global level. But if you look at the annual incidence, more than 2,000, and this is more or less similar what has been reported for other countries where uh, in this session this morning where the annual in, where the prevalence of HIV is not among the lowest on a global scale. So the comment is that HIV in Turkey is on the rise and I will come to that. In terms of HPV the prevalence is 4%. This is high and this is a number based on a nationwide uh, epidemiologic study, a sound study which used cluster sampling methodology, prospective study, and so it's reliable. Almost all HPV are due to genotype D. Regarding HCV, the prevalence is close to 1%. Um, there are 303 new infections, acute infections per year. And genotype is 85% 1B, 10% 1A, and genotype 2, 3, 4 is infrequent, so altogether around 5 or less percent. In terms of treatment, both antiretroviral treatment and treatment for hepatitis B and hepatitis C is totally reimbursed. In terms of uh, HPV, there are no restrictions in terms of duration of treatment with nucleoside analogs, and basically all nucleoside analogs are available. Peglet interferon is available. So, uh, in that sense, for now, it's fine. For the future, we'll see. HCV, we were in a desperate situation until recently, but just before, we, you know, we had a the, some sort of a coup attempt. So before that, early July, we had uh, uh, the reimbursement issue solved, and we have now the ABV combination and uh, ledipasvir sofosbuvir reimbursed for the treatment of hepatitis C with some restrictions, and the restrictions are as follows. Basically, all patients who were non-responders to uh, any kind of regimen in the past can be treated without, irrespective of liver disease stage, fibrosis stage. But in terms of treatment, naive patients, treatment is restricted with oral antivirals to uh, fibrosis grade more than two, so three, four, five, and six, according to Ishak. And for, for fibrosis grade 3, according to Ishak, only the ABV combination is allowed. And for compensated uh, and for genotype 4, 5, and uh, uh, for cirrhotics, um, genotype 5 and 6, and decompensated cirrhosis, uh, all two types of treatments are reimbursed. Where, can, can I? Can we go on? Can you can you advance the slide? Okay. This is the, this is uh, this is the prevalence on of HIV on a global scale and if you look here this is Turkey and it's very dark so it's the lowest prevalence. Now if you move on to the next slide this is incidence and there is no more dark blue color and it's just above between 0.7 to 1.8 per hundred thousand per year of incidence. Now if you look 
I have given you the number of more than 2,000. This is the number Sahar Tunal gave me. And this is actually this. So it's actually, it should be probably this color for now. So this is, paid, this is uh, due to the increase of HIV, new HIV infections. Can I have the next slide? Yes. Next. OK. Yeah, yeah. OK. Oh, I see. Good. So th this, is the, this is the issue. This is the exponential rise in HIV. If you look here, we had steady state almost, but then there is an exponential rise in HIV. But this is uh, in HIV uh, in, uh, cases. This is not due to uh, increased testing. You see the, r the testing performance increased steady state uh, on, on a linear scale, but the HIV diagnoses are exponential. And most of the, of the cases are males. And the routes of transmission, 50% unknown. This is, is based on the disease, uh, transmitted disease directorate of Turkey, 50% unknown, 32% uh, heterosexual transmission, and 15% homosexual. IV drug use only 0.8%. Now, if you look uh, what Serhat Yunal gave me, here, the men who have sex with when is uh, higher, 27.5%, heterosexual, also a little bit higher, 55%, IV drug use negligible. HPV, mainly horizontal transmission. Uh, we have, of course, HPV vaccination, and we also have catch-up vaccination. HPV vaccination is reported as being uh, covered in 90% of cases, but the problem is, the, it's the area where you have the highest prevalence of HBV, which are, in terms of socioeconomic grounds, uh, on a lower scale. And in these areas, the coverage rate also falls. And this is southeastern Turkey. And if you, if you remember what is happening in southeastern Turkey now, currently, the issue may be more problematic nowadays. In HCV, the, uh, in 50% of cases, the transmission route is unidentified. Today, I mean, since we, uh, blood products, uh, the, the issue is, uh, for example, ten dental procedures, uh, maybe circumcision in, in, in parts of Turkey and so on. Now, HIV cases occur, most of these cases are really to Turks, 85%. And 85% uh, of patients who are identified with HIV received antiretroviral treatment, and this is effective in 71%. Number of cases dying from AIDS between 2011 and 2015, these were among 1,581 treated cases, 42. Now, what about HIV, HCV co-infection? This is a study from five centers, the ACT, HIV study group from Istanbul, 950 cases of HIV, and among those, there were only 0.9% uh, with HIV, HCV co-infection, and uh, in these co-infection cases, genotypes were 1B, uh, 2A, 2C, 3, so not according to what I have presented in terms of mono infection. And what is the difference between uh, patients with HIV, HCV co-infection and HIV positive patients in terms of demographic characteristics. There are a few issues which are significant. First of all, IV drug use, which is, uh, was a negligible factor, is seen is much more frequently observed in patients with co-infection. And again, imprisonment is 10 times higher among patients who have co-infection. Now, um, another cohort, this is uh, from Ankara, from uh, Sahrat Unal's uh, hospital, uh, 255 patients with HIV and HCV co-infection was seen in seven out of 228, so it's 3.1%, and genotype distribution of these 
you can see not only one, but also two and three, so different than what you see in Mona infection. And then uh, there were four out of 239 patients with HIV who had HPV, HIV co-infection. Now, what about reasons for HIV testing in HIV-positive patients? Again, this is a multi-standard study of 24 sites in Turkey, HIV TR cohort, 693 patients. This was, uh, this, the study was done between, in the period tw 2011 to 2012, and reasons for HIV testing documented in 640 patients. So this is 92%. Transmissions route were 66 per 63 heterosexual, 23 uh, homosexual contact. And as you can see, the majority uh, reason for testing HIV was diagnostic workup for other medical conditions, not directly uh, for HIV. But then 15% was patient initiated, so the patient was concerned that may, he may have encountered HIV and l let him test for HIV. And then in 10% of cases it was due to blood or organ donation or prior to surgical parenteral interventions. Now, what about treatment of HIV in Turkey? Again, a cohort study, 693 patients, similar cohort. And, but what is important is the proportion of pre patients presenting late with a CD4 cell count of less than 350 or having AIDS defining event was 82%. Um, and out of these 11, so 1.6 patients di percent died and 19 were lost to follow up, uh, but of those who received treatment, uh, treatment was effective in the majority, as you can see. But it shows that a national HIV testing strategy targeting subpopulations with high risk is urgently needed. Te basically, treatment should be started earlier. In terms of HIV subtypes, 16% is A1 and 31% is B. So, in summary and in conclusion, HIV continues to be infrequent in Turkey, but in contrast to global trends, incidence is increasing tremendously. Heterosexual contact and men who have sex with men appears to be the main reason for the increased uh, epidemic of HIV in Turkey. IV drug use, neg negligible role, late diagnosis is an issue, Treatment is totally reimbursement, effective treatment rescues vast majority of patients, but we also need more effective screening in target populations. And this, um, the, the issue is not treatment reimbursement or treatment coverage. The issue is, especially for HPV, HCV, mono infection, uh, uh, underdiagnosis of those cases. Thank you.